with Live Viper 6 in partnership with AECOM, built to deliver a better world. Heavy rains across a good portion of Georgia and Carolina today, and they continue to develop across eastern Georgia and the Midlands. That strong line that roared through the I-20 area of Columbia, Richmond, Aiken County is now dissipating as it rolls north into Wilkes, Lincoln, and McCormick County. But you'll see pockets of heavy rainfall in Aiken, as well as in Burke and over Sylvania and Screven County. We'll take a look at each of those spots. Right now, you'll see light showers, Warrington, Thompson. You got washed away, Thompson, didn't you? And you'll see light showers along I-20 across uh, Columbia County. You see some pockets of heavy rainfall along 378 and 28 in McCormick County, right along Highway 23 there in rural country over Edgefield County. All this is moving north. Just light stuff for you, Washington, Lincolnton. Let's slide on over to the metro area. Richmond County, relatively quiet. Look at this, just torrential rain right around Highway uh, 278. Also, lots of lightning with this. We have 45 strikes on the screen, and most of those are here as well as here. So, heavy rainfall on New Wellington Highway 278. This will slowly push north on Highway 19, so watch out for some very heavy rainfall. Uh, these thunderstorms are not severe in the sense they will not produce tornadoes or severe thunderstorm winds, but they're going to put down a lot of rainfall and also plenty of lightning right along Highway 24, Sardis, and Girard. You're seeing some heavy rainfall. This is all also slowly moving north, so Shell Bluff, Waynesboro, keep an eye on that. And the rest of the viewing area, relatively quiet. There you will see spotty showers uh, south of Louisville. But the heaviest stuff concentrated north and over Aiken, as well as Burke County. Much of this coming to a close as we head towards late night tonight. Then we could see another round tomorrow. Most of the heavy rainfall today across our central and northern counties. You'll see up to two inches in Thompson, where you see the yellow and green splotches. That's one to two inches. But oddly enough, in Bushfield, it'll go to the record books as nothing happened today. Zero rainfall south of Augusta, also relatively quiet. Uh, for the rest of tonight, we'll see those showers and a couple storms continue along this frontal boundary. They'll wrap up later this evening. Tomorrow morning at 8 as you head off to work and school, we're cloudy but dry. But look for a few showers and a couple storms tomorrow, though not nearly as widespread as they were today. Then for Thursday, the skies dry up, sunshine returns. It's going to get warm too for Thursday and Friday with highs 88 to about 90 degrees. Here's your forecast coming up for tomorrow. Looking forward to cloudy skies and 62 at 8, a few sprinkles at noon, a slightly better chance of storms tomorrow during the afternoon hours, 82 degrees, then drying up by 8 p.m. Six day forecast, lots of sunshine for your Thursday and Friday, 87 to 90. Daylight hours Saturday are dry, but evening storms possible. Then Sunday, a chance of showers and storms across the area, high temperatures reaching 82. Today's George Seto and Umbrella winner is from Wrens, Georgia, Jefferson County. Christian Deloach, congratulations, you won a George Seto and Umbrella. Stop by the station sometime and pick it up. It'll be at the front desk. Kristen